My goal is to make this world a safer place, especially for the females out there. Okay, if you want to build some confidence, train these drills at home, and hopefully you'll never have to use this. But if you do, you can mess that guy up. Okay, this is a bad situation for anybody, especially females. This is probably the most common questions I get. Okay, is what do you do if somebody's trying to rape you? In a sexual assault position, it feels weird, but you want to lock those legs up. This is called closed guard. What that's going to do is it's going to make them hard to struggle to get their pants off and to be able to do something. The first thing, if you have this motion, she's curling in, she's pulling my body. This makes me post my hands onto the ground or else I'm going to smash my face. Make sure your hands are up protecting you just in case my head comes and headbutts her. She's going to lift her hips up off the ground. And what that's going to do is give her time to open those legs up, get the feet on me. If you're practicing this at home, make sure your toes are curled like me. So when she kicks aggressively and I fall backwards, she has a chance to stand up. Okay. So let's talk about that stand up because it's probably the most important thing. So let's say that the feet come to here and she gives me like a half ass kick and I just kind of move back a bit. She's going to plant that foot. She's going to plant the other hand. She's going to wing cover. When she's covering, she's trying to protect the back of her head or this hand can be pushing away. I personally don't like to have the hand out here when it comes to a woman protecting herself because I can grab that and if I'm bigger or stronger, okay, it's going to be hard. So she's just going to cover that in case I try and swing and hit her. This leg is going to try and kick me away. It's called a stop kick and she's trying to turn her foot sideways, striking me at the heel. So again, foot plant, hand plant, wing cover, butt off the ground and she's going to kick and she's just going to keep kicking me and kicking me until she gets to a point where she can stand up and she can get away. Okay, so option number one, if possible, disengage, disengage. If you don't have a whole bunch of jujitsu training though, that's going to be hard. So she wraps up that closed guard. Okay, she's holding on to this and I'm like, damn, she's good. She tried to hip bump and push me away, but I'm bigger, I'm stronger. Maybe I strike her and push her back down. Okay, now I go into stop messing around and I'm trying to choke her. So she realizes that she's getting choked. So she grabs an arm and that's her arm now. So ladies own that arm, okay? Do not let me pull that arm out. So as I'm going to do this, what her goal is, is she's gonna put her left foot on my hip. She's gonna drive her hips up in the air and she's gonna put the right one curling over my back. The left leg is gonna come over my head and now she's going to lift up with the hips and hold on to my wrist. Hips, 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 tap. Nice, okay? Right? And what that's going to do is it's going to snap my arm. Okay, it's going to be very hard to rape her if my arm is broken. Again, at that point, if I get to here, ah, oh, my arm, my arm, she can kick away and she can get back to safety. Okay, so good jujitsu can save you. There's a lot of other options though. So she wraps up that closed guard, right? Maybe he trains jits, who knows? He puts his hand on the hip, keep the legs tight, right? Puts the hand on the hip and then he just presses this leg. So the chance of him pressing that leg down is high, okay? If he wants to continue raping, then his hand is gonna come underneath to maybe pin her or to undo his pants. That's where she's gonna lift the hips up high, throw the leg over top of the shoulder. Okay, higher, higher. Yeah, nice, right? So now this is up. She's gonna take this arm, she's gonna pull it across my body. I'm just readjusting the mic, okay? So my arm came across the body. Now what she's gonna try and do is she's gonna try and turn her body this way as much as she can. That's called cutting the angle. That's gonna allow her other leg to come over and to grab that one. She's gonna lift the hips up. She's gonna squeeze the legs together. And she's gonna curl it over. Okay. Nice. Whew. Went a little black there. That was nice, right? So what that one is called is a triangle. Okay, so if you think of these three, you have a pretty good chance. If you know jujitsu, a failed triangle is probably going to set up an armbar. An armbar gives you a chance to get away or at least break something so you can get away. So real quick, the main goal, close guard. It feels counterintuitive that you want to wrap your legs around somebody that's trying to physically assault you or sexually assault you. Wrap them in so that you can control them and get your legs into the fight. She's pushing and pulling with her hips. If she can, she pushes far enough, feet come to the hips, she kicks away, boom, she does her stand up and she's off to safety. She comes back down, okay? 
if the person gets mad at her because she's doing that and they're just way bigger and stronger, her timing is off and he starts to choke her, right? She grabs the arm, she owns the arm, left foot on hip, right leg around the back, left leg over the head, hips up. Nice, that was way better the second time. She's only done that three times today. Okay. If I'm opening up the legs, right, to get to my pants, she pops that leg onto the shoulder. She throws the leg over. She wraps it in tight. Nice. I couldn't talk to her, right? But she's trying to squeeze me until I pass out and I fall over. Hopefully this will help you guys stay safe.